This is the type of stuff CompTIA says you have to know to pass the cert. They want you to actually waste time studying this stuff. RST says, on the real, I think A plus is one of the most unnecessary certs out there. It has little to no viability in the market. Plus, it's an extremely bloated exam with a bunch of info on outdated technologies that the industry doesn't even use anymore. Why do I need to remember the amount of pins on a D9 connector? As an analyst, if you're a newbie, and want to go to the uh, security route, Network Plus, Security Plus, and the Certified Cyber Defender Cert is the way to go. Good content. Shout out to RST94. And RST94, I agree with probably about 65% of what you just said. <laughs> so let's go through this again. It says, on the real, I think A Plus is, the, is one of the most unnecessary certs out there. I disagree on that point. As I just showed you guys, type in CompTIA, do a search for IT jobs, or just type CompTIA in your city, and then do a search for entry-level IT jobs. 90-something percent of them are going to ask for an A-plus certification just to apply. So I don't think it's unnecessary. I think it's actually somewhat important to get if you're trying to get a traditional entry-level IT job by coming in as a help desk or IT support specialist or something something along those lines. They're almost always going to ask you for that. Now this person says, but it is an extremely bloated exam with a bunch of outdated technologies that the industry doesn't even use anymore. That part I do agree with. This is one of my beefs with CompTIA especially the A+, plus, they like to mention a whole bunch of antiquated technologies from the 80s and the 90s. And this one that he gave right here, the D9 connector, that is a perfect example. Listen, so you're like, what is a D9 connector? Let me show y'all what a D9, matter of fact, let me, let me show y'all what I'm talking about. All right, so we're looking at a D9 connector right here. It looks like a VGA cable, in case you guys don't know, video graphics array. D9, I'm trying to find, all right, here we go. Well, anyways, I'm trying to find the actual, here we go. I don't want to click on one of these. All right, I guess it's going to take me to Amazon. I was trying to avoid going to Amazon. All right, here we go. So this is a D9 connector. It has nine pins, as you can see. Yes, this is listed on the CompTIA A plus hardware or the core one exam as something that you have to know. Now, here's the issue. When's the last time any of y'all have seen a D9 connector? Like, seriously, when have y'all ever seen one? Like, I'm trying to think, when is the last time I actually saw one? I want to say the last time I actually physically saw a D9 connector with my own two eyeballs was probably 20 something years ago, back in the 90s when I was in college or whatever the case may be. I ain't seen one of these things in forever. I don't know where they're lying around. I don't know where they're hiding out at. I don't see them. And yes, they are legacy stuff, but this is the type of stuff CompTIA says you have to know to pass the cert. They want you to actually waste time studying this stuff. And the reason why is because there are people or companies that use legacy equipment that's still floating around out there. Matter of fact, I want to say like two years ago, there's a water treatment facility in Tampa, Florida, not too far from where my brother lives. And I want to say like two or three years ago, somebody hacked the uh, water treatment plant and started messing with the chemicals to where, you know, whatever they was doing with the chemicals, they could have poisoned and or killed possibly tens of thousands of people in that area. But luckily, somebody caught it and put a stop to it. But how did the hackers get into the system? Came to discover they got in because the computer that was in charge of monitoring the, the chemicals chemical levels or something like that. It was running Windows 7. It was running a window a Windows 7 operating system. And if you guys don't realize, Windows 7 is not supported by Microsoft anymore. So if you still got Windows 7 on your computer, you're pretty much on your own with trying to deal with any potential headaches that may, might come your way. So you need to be on Windows 10 or Windows 11. That's the de facto standard right now for Windows-based operating systems. I'm just saying that to say that there are a bunch of companies out there, they have this model of if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And that's understandable to a certain extent. But when we're talking about IT technology type of stuff, that's not really the best approach in most scenarios, especially if you're dealing with devices that are networked and connected to the internet. But anyways, when's the last time y'all seen a DB9 connector, man? We're out here using Bluetooth, some USBs and USB-Cs. Like, like nobody's using this stuff anymore. But this is the type of stuff that they want you to know, which I do believe is a, is a waste of time when you could just be studying on all the stuff. Because here's what I think. I think CompTIA, when they go through and redo their tests and be like, hey, you need to know this, you need to know that. I think they need to put an emphasis on things that came out within the last 10 years. I'll give them a 10-year window. 
You need to just learn all this stuff that came out within the past decade. And then just keep it pushing on that because a DB9 connector, it probably came out in the late 80s, early 90s. Like, why are we studying stuff that's 30 years old just because a ransom onesie and twosie is still using it on their on their freaking monitor somewhere? So, yeah, I think that's a waste of time. But that certification exam is filled with a bunch of stuff like that. You'd be like, why are we, why are we learning about this? Because they said you had to. That's why this person then says, as an analyst, if you're a newbie and want to go the security route, get security plus, I mean, a net plus security plus and a certified cyber defender. I don't disagree with that statement either, but I will say I do think it is in everybody's best interest to learn a plus, especially if you're brand new to IT, because it does, aside from the bloated information in there, it still teaches you the basics about what is a computer? What are the hardware components associated with it? What are the software components associated with it? How do they mesh together to make a device come to life so you can enjoy your PC, your desktop, your laptop, your phone, your tablet, whatever, whatever it is that you're using. I still think it's good in that, re in that regards of giving you a solid foundational understanding of the device that created the entire industry known as IT. So I don't think it's going to hurt anybody to learn that. Now, obviously they can remove certain things out of it and just focus on what came out within the last decade and just keep it pushing like that. But overall, I don't think it's a bad thing for somebody to learn.